20 years ago, I had a hunch that serviced accommodation would become a huge boom within the property investing world. Hi, my name is Lee Pemberton and I have been investing in service accommodation for the past 20 years. And together with my investors, we have created a number of developments throughout the UK. These have ranged from houses that we've let out on a nightly basis all the way through to apartments within blocks. And it's been a fantastic journey over the past 20 years. We've had some great successes, some real failures along the way, but we have picked ourselves up and we have learned a huge amount within this industry. And I'm absolutely passionate about hospitality and looking after guests and really making sure that my investors get a great return on their investment. And I believe that going forward, that there is even better opportunity that are, that's about to come our way. So please let me share that with you. With the success of Airbnb, it's a fantastic platform for independent travellers to be able to travel throughout the world now and book and stay in a whole range of different types of property. And I see that as a great, great opportunity for, for guests. But I also see real problems with that. The UN have predicted that by 2025, 75% of today's global workforce will be travelling throughout the world. Now again, you could look at that and say, well, that's great opportunity. Cloud-based computing has given the opportunity for people to be able to travel wherever they are and plug in to their central systems within the corporate world and be able to work independently. And I do see that as opportunity, but I see that as a real problem as well, because now you've got a flow of people that are just traveling all over the place rather than the traditional way of them being all in an office and in that kind of community environment. Also, the UN have predicted that by 2025, 40 cities throughout the world will have a population of over 10 million people. So again, you can go, wow, these super cities are being created and that's predicted to happen in a very, very short period of time. But again, I see the whole community, the traditional community of people where they're working locally, living locally, and they get to know each other. I can see that being coming quite fragmented. So I see an, a way over the coming years of where you're gonna have a flow of people moving in and out, transient throughout different locations throughout the world, and you're gonna lose that kind of community feel. But I think there's a solution around this. And together with the United Nations Global Goals, number 11, which is focused on community, I can see that there's a great opportunity here to be able to do something and for me to add my part uh, within this global world that we now live in. So quite simply, what we're looking at is this. I want to work with investors. I want investors to be able to come on board with me and share my vision and work with me over the coming years. And what do I mean by that? Well, quite simply at the moment, my current investors that I work with are being penalised. They're being penalised for buying properties on a buy-to-let basis that was encouraged so much sort of over the past 20 years. The government have now put things in place like Section 24, which is stopping investors from investing and penalising them on their tax for investing in that. Also, our international investors don't know where to invest money at the moment. With the whole uncertainty of Brexit, where they international investors would have propped up the prime markets, they don't know where to put their investment money at the moment. So I see those as real problems, but again, I see there's great solutions and there's great opportunity around that as well. And I'd like to share that with you right now. The solution and the opportunity I see right now is quite simple. It's where we are gonna bring together technology, the best hospitality and find the right properties to be able to bring all that together to create a great investment opportunity for our investors and offer a great service and a great place to stay for our guests. And let me share with you exactly how we're going to do that. There are 22,000 small, under 20 bedrooms, independently owned bed and breakfasts within the UK. My focus over the next five years is to focus on 50 of those independent B&Bs. And what we're gonna do is quite simple. We're going to purchase a bed and breakfast off of a tired hotelier that has not embraced technology they're still using paper diaries. They think booking.com is the demon and they want to sell out. They've had enough. They want to get their money and they want to move on sort of thing. So we can pick up some really good below market value property. And there's some really good tax incentives around by bringing on those properties. As an example, with one of my recent investors, by purchasing that property, we've been able to gain 
£500,000 in capital allowances for that particular investor. So there's some great benefits from a tax perspective for investors, as well as a great opportunity in terms of the investment itself too. So we're gonna buy these hotels, we're gonna repurpose the space, we're gonna take out the kitchen and the dining areas, and we're gonna add more rooms so we have more guests staying. We're gonna use technology to make sure that our revenues are as high as we can and we've got as many guests staying as possible. And at the same time, we're gonna use technology and hospitality to drive down the costs by not having to have staff on site. So we can really focus on our profits, the higher the profits, the higher the value of our property, our investment opportunity here. That's as simple as we're going to try and make this and I'm looking for the right investors that would like to work with me within what I believe is going to become the next generation of hotels and I would love you to join me on that journey. So quite simply if this is of interest to you all I ask is that let's have a call, let's have a chat and see if this is the right investment opportunity to, for you. You may have money in the bank, you may have money sitting in your pension that's not earning you much money at the moment, you may have money sitting in your company. Let's have a chat and let's see, it could be a straightforward loan and you could invest into one of our hotel projects and receive a really good return on that money or you may be interested in becoming an equity partner within that project and obviously you will therefore benefit from the profits in the future on that particular investment property. So there's great opportunity here. If this is of interest to you, please get in contact. If we feel it's the right fit on the telephone, I would then love to invite you along to one of my private investor dinners where you'll get to meet my other JV partners. We currently have 15 million pounds worth of prop projects in the pipeline. 15 million pounds worth of projects in the pipeline. I would love you to come and join me on this journey. We're gonna create the next generation of hotels and our focus is quite simple, 50 hotels over the next five years and we are gonna then aim on selling out the portfolio to a hotel chain or a private investment fund that is looking for a good yield on their investment. There are no branded B&Bs within the UK at the moment. Let's create the first one, our self-service smart hotel brand within the UK. I would love you to be part of this journey with me. Please get in contact. Thank you.